Hey guys, what's up? It's Transport RC here. In today's video, I will be doing a camera analysis on the MJX X103W drone. If you guys have watched my recent video on what has happened to my drone video, you know that the MJX X103W kind of went crazy and then the motors, one of the motors burned, burned out. So before I start this video, I'll give you guys an update on the drone. So, I'm still waiting for the new motors to arrive from China. It's been around 3 to 4 weeks since I ordered them. So, I would be expecting the motors to arrive soon. Also, the footage that I am showing you throughout this video is footage that I filmed before the motors burned out. I was going to use this footage later on on another video, but I thought I should just use this footage for a camera review. Also, I have seen many reviews that the MJX X103W has some flight problems or GPS issues that makes the drone go crazy or toilet bowl. So, once I get the drone repaired, I'll do some tests and try to figure out what is wrong with the drone because I haven't really had these issues with the drone. So, the MJX X103W has a 2K camera, which means it has 2048 by 1080 pixels. But all that doesn't really matter, because it all depends on the lens and how it utilizes the pixels. For example, the DJI Spark can only record at 1080p, but the video looks great. I read on the user manual that the drone has effective of 2 megapixels. I don't really understand what that means, but I'm guessing that that means that the drone can only take 2 megapixel photos. Okay, so first we're going to look at the video quality. So the first thing that I noticed when looking at the video is that there's a lot of jello, which basically ruins all the footage. The problem, the problem with these drones are that they use brushed motors and are so small, so the vibration of the motors travels through the arms of the drone and straight to the camera, which creates jello. I found that when I was flying, there would always be jello if I faced like a certain direction. For example, if the drone was facing east, then there would be no jello. But if I faced west, then the drone, then the then the camera will have a lot of jello. So that's kind of weird. But I'm guessing that's because of the direction that the wind was blowing when I'm flying. One phenomenon that you may notice when watching these clips is that if you if the camera directly faces the sun, the sun becomes a black dot. The best explanation for this is that the sensor of the camera cannot process that much light, therefore it turns black. This is most likely because the MJX X103W has a really cheap sensor. Also, looking at the quality of the video when there is no jello, the video is very warm. I realize that this, this warmth is only occurred if you move the camera down a little. If you have the camera like in its fully up position, then the warmth of the video disappears. I'll show you some examples of this later on in the video. So my opinion for the video quality of the drone is that you cannot use it. Like there is just too much jello and the video is very grainy when there isn't jello. That's because due to only 2 megapixels being effective, I'm guessing. So this really isn't a 2K camera. So here's a comparison of a video I took from the Parrot Bebop 2 and the MJX X103W taken at the same location and on the same day. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the photos of the drone. So the photos of the drone look very similar to the video, but it doesn't contain any jello as it is a still picture. The photos also look grainy and don't have a lot of detail in them as, they can only, as the drone can only take 2 megapixel photos. 
But for closer shots, the camera does a decent job. The picture is much more clearer, like this one that I took of my home. The photos also have the same issue where the photos are very warm if the camera is tilted down. Here is an example of this. In this photo where the camera is tilted down a little, the photo is very warm. And in this photo where the camera is tilted completely straight up, the photo is much colder, which makes it look better. But usually you will get propellers if you do that. So I have to crop the propellers out of the photo. I'm guessing that this is a phenomenon that occurs due to the propellers uh, like changing the light projection onto the lens or something. I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, please comment down below. I can't say the photos are possible, but if you just want to take some snaps, then they will do the job. Here is a comparison of the photo take, of photos taken from the Mavic Air, taken at the same location and on the same day. I think that the MJX X103W cannot be used as a camera drone. The video is just too grainy and there is a lot of jello. You may be able to take some pictures and edit them to make them look better, but it really isn't usable for a professional point of view. Really, you can just use it for your recreational uses, just for some fun. So at the end of this video, I will be showing you some photos that I edited from the drone. So that's all for the camera review guys for the MJX X103W. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and if you are new, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.